Okay, this is an update of random things. We got the roof on, we got that thing on, we put the sheets over the seats because uh, they don't get messed up. And we got the insulation up here. And how we're putting in the roof here, these are just uh, four by eight sheets like that. This is 56 inches across from that point to that point. Um, and we measure it all because we have so many of these little holes. When we screw up, like we have right here and here and everywhere else, we have everything properly measured. And uh, here I'll give you the measurements right now. Okay, so uh, you have to get everything just right on that, otherwise you're screwing holes into right into a hole, right? And so then in between the boards, we put this little slot right here. It's about four inches um, wide right there, and then we screw in both sides like we've done right there, and uh, butt end the, the tops up. And uh, then what we had happen is the solar, we'd put the solar hole originally through here. These are the solar wires, now nicely protected. Um, and uh, <clears throat> now what happened was when we drilled this out, we put one of these little grommets in. Now it's covered with the Dicor lap sealant. Let's go outside and look at what happened here. And the uh, steel shards, well, anyway, we can catch that. The steel shards, they uh, or the, the steel edge cut through this thing. This is a GB grommet. Wasn't nearly enough for what I had. So anyway, what we did is we took a wire spindle. Dun, 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 dun. We took a wire spindle for all this uh, red wire up there that we use. And, um, and we were thinking, how can we do this? How can we do this? How can we protect it? So we cut one side of it off and use that and drop that down into the roof. You can see up there. So now we're pressing on this beam. How am I Thomas doing? got it. And if you want to press on your right. side on that beam, <laughs> that would be great. I'm going to do some adjustments. Mine is a lot prettier to look at than oh. the guys oh. <laughs> 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 are pretty nice. Yes. We have internet are beautiful. Yes. <laughs> Men are beautiful. They're more just like. They're just better. We just try to take care of the women.
before. There. Oh, really? You mm -hmm. did? Oh, wow. Hey, were well, you recording? Yeah, stop, stop. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm oh, I would have given you some skin. Yeah, and, no, right? <laughs> oh, wait. I hope that's not. Okay. Yeah, right? I have high. It's all gonna be on fast forward anyway. You won't be able to hear the sound. Yeah, no, all right, so we're all done. Look at that. Do, 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 do. Okay, so now we have the issue that we have a fantastic vent. We're not a fantastic vent, excuse me. Uh, Max Air vent up there, which is now sitting on its side. And we need to make a hole for it right there. So how do we do that? So let's try, let's show, um, because we're going to put this uh, flange up in there. Um, so what we do here, there's a lecture going on in the background, my wife's listening to the Galactified spiritual lecture thing. So we've lifted this thing up and now we got right here and we drill holes in all the corners, right? Then we go down there with that thing and uh, then we go down and once all the holes are drilled on all the different sides, then you just hold up your your flange, and you have this this seam right here. So kind of a boo boo mistake seam. If you screw up, but try not to screw up. And then you just measure up all the holes that you drilled, like so. And uh, like that. And then once you start cutting, pretty much all comes together. Get the idea. Okay, now this is what works best. Trace it out with our stencil, which will eventually be part of it. This part right here, you trim off anyway determining on how uh, thick your roof is and just cut around it. Yay. Fun stuff.